Checking in with our forecast, when I update you on the tornadoes that struck last week, let me show you what's going on in terms of the tornadoes from last Thursday. And there were two of them. You see the green and the yellow. Those were two different tornado tracks. I'm going to zoom you in here. The first one was an EF1. And that was in the Albany area, so just east of Monroe, stretching up to Albany with 110 mile per hour winds. That tornado was on the ground for over eight miles. But it was the second one that struck near Evansville, and this one was an EF2. That was on the ground for almost 25 miles with winds of 135 miles per hour. And look at this thing. It literally lifted right before Fort Atkinson. I mean, it came right up to Fort Atkinson before it lifted. So just on the north side there of Lake Koshkonong, really an incredibly long track, certainly for our area. What does this mean in terms of February tornadoes? Well, up until this point, we had not had a tornado in February in recorded history in the entire state of Wisconsin. These are the numbers of tornadoes across the state from 1844 until now. And you can really get a sense of when our typical tornado season is, and that's from May to August. So rare, but not totally uncommon to have tornadoes in January, for example. Folks in Kenosha County, the Wheatland area, might remember that tornado from the 2008 time Time frame in January. Well, now we have two to add in February. And again, that was from just last week here in 2024.